Artificial intelligence, the new battleground for technology giants like Amazon, Google, and Apple. Amazon this week unveiling a collection of new products that incorporate its Alexa platform, including a smarter Echo. Joining us right now, right here in the studio, is Arun Sundar Arajan. Uh, good to see you. He is uh, the author and professor of information operations and management at the NYU Stern School of Business. Arun, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Great, Fab. Thanks All for right, having so where me. All right, so where do these technology giants stand in artificial intelligence? We've been talking this this morning about how AI is in virtually every industry. Machine Absolutely, learning. Yeah. Explain. Well, um, you know, on the technology, Google is probably ahead of the rest. But in terms of integrating retail into the interfaces of tomorrow, Amazon's got a head start because they've integrated intelligent response into these Echo devices that are more widespread than Google's home. And uh, so you're able to order stuff by speaking to your device. Um, and that's really the interface of the future. It's sort of like mobile was five years ago. Um, like, you know, if I look forward 10 years, we'll be speaking to our devices rather than pressing them. Um, all of these services, healthcare, um, retail, will be integrated tightly into this intelligent device. And so Apple, Google, and Amazon are all battling to be the device that you talk to. This is incredible. Is there a downside to this? Well, um, like, you know, I think that the concern that I would have if I was an application provider that wasn't one of these platforms is when you have this kind of tighter integration, it gives a natural advantage to the platform. Um, you know, maybe I'm not going to install my own retail app. If Walmart is integrated into my Google Home, I'm just going to shop at Walmart. I may not even choose the retailer that I go to. I might just say, order me batteries or, yeah. like, you know, order me well, toilet the paper. Down, the downside. We're, we're doing less and less. Millennials yeah. will not know what to do with their thumbs, right. you know, once we're using voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm deeply, deeply <laughs> concerned <laughs> I mean, about that. We're not even tying our sneakers. Okay? Uh, uh, yeah, all all of the strength that we've built up. Um, at at yeah. what point... I, I, Apple is disappointing to me. At what point will Siri understand what I'm saying? I live in San Diego. The other day I was looking for a restaurant near the San Diego Zoo. Hmm. I, asked Sandy, I asked Siri, where is the San Diego Zoo? Or directions. It did not understand San Diego Zoo. For God's sakes, millions of people from around the world <laughs> yeah. come to see the polar bears there. And oh Siri God. has no idea where it is. Well, like, you know, I've got two theories about that. One is that... Um, Amazon and Google are just further ahead on the AI technology. The other is that Apple actually wanted you to go somewhere else. Uh. Oh, they're, they're that's sort of true. Trying yeah. to guide Listen, you I'm sure that's, right that's, that's yeah. black helicopter conspiracy See, theory. Well, you know, you never but know. What, it's, on that note, though, what about the privacy issue? Because yeah, I was again, say that. Thank the, you. the Amazon Echo is on all the time to essentially to right. pick up your voice. It's listening all the time to to make sure that when you hey, Alexa and, and what danger it lies in these devices being in your home and essentially tracking your every move yeah right I'm gonna put that in my house yeah, yeah no, you know, I, it was in Jeff Bezos's house and he said Alexa buy Whole Foods yeah. she just bought the whole company <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's uh, Jeff Bezos is probably the only person who sort of completely owns all the data yeah. associated with, um, like, you know, speaking to his Echo device. Uh -huh. um, I think what's going to happen is that consumers are going to segment into two groups. There's going to be a group for whom the privacy concerns are just too high. Because once you've got 10 AI devices in your home, it's really hard to turn them on and off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they may just sort of stay out of the whole sort of switches of the interfaces. But mm -hmm. a lot of people are just sort of saying, well, like, you know, the privacy battle is over. Um, we've lost as consumers. We've handed over, like, you know, think about how much Google and Apple know about you. It's more than any government has known about you in the past. Unless so, they give it to the government. Exactly. I mean, sort of de facto, um, we've sort of handed over this authority to the platforms and we've placed this trust in them. And so um, I think for a majority of the population, that's just going to be the reality of everyday living. So I'm a huge libertarian, but I have most of these products. You do. Uh, I have Alexa and I just tell it to order pretty much everything. It does it. But I, I, I had privacy concerns, but I almost prefer them having the products and the capabilities than the government yeah. because I believe that they will protect their customers at the end of the day. I'm more concerned, as Maria noted, of them selling it to the government. And as long as they fight back, because to Apple's credit, anytime the government has tried to push back and get this information that they yeah. have, um, they've 
went went to court about it. Uh, there's huge lawsuits about it. Yeah. Will Amazon do the same thing? Because there's this big push for companies like Facebook and all the other companies to come together to help yeah. fight terrorism now. Well, I think that that's a really interesting point you bring up because um, in many ways platforms seem to be the natural heirs to government. We've sort of de facto been delegating a whole bunch of things that we used to delegate to government to platforms. Amazon and Apple control intellectual property. There's a whole bunch of sort of observation capability. Airbnb is sort of in there sort of mm -hmm. regulating short-term accommodation. Um, I think that the personality of the platform, to your question on this, is going to be a critical differentiating factor. I think that Twitter in particular has shown that it'll stand up. Facebook and Google seem to have shown that they'll stand up. Mm -hmm. But in some ways, these platforms are going to become so big. I mean, I think Denmark recently appointed an ambassador to Silicon Valley. Um, they sort of have recognized that the platforms require the same kind of government relations that a country does, a nation well, state I, does. Well, I think you highlight the, what I call libertarian hypocrisy, that people freely hand over the most personal details about their lives to these technology companies, and they're fine, and, and they're fine with that. They're like, sure, make money right. off of my ch children's photos, but then when the government needs data to protect the homeland and to fight terrorism, then it's, oh my God, the government's but, taking my but I don't data. Think the I, 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 think, abuse it though. Yeah, I, I think it has to do with aligning intent with use. Like right. when I'm handing over my data to Amazon, say, like I'm clicking through like, you know, the different things that I'm browsing, I know what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm giving it to them for a purpose. I give, like, you know, sort and of also, a, an online retailer Amazon, my home address. I want them to send but me But I just package. find that hypocritical. I, yeah. I, I do. I, but it's I, a different I just, from the government and because, I mean, you, business. Granted, that's true, but the, I, I think the way to managing this is to sort of make it clear up front that these are the uses that your data might be put to. Mm. And as long as consumer expectations are aligned with the actual uses, it's not going to be a backlash. Amazon more afraid of government. Exactly. Amazon provides better service. I'm yeah. going to JFK today. Instead of the TSA, if Amazon had the contract to run to run security, I would Way feel more efficient. better than going to the TSA. Well, that's a different TSA. argument because, by the way, the security at airports was private until 9-11. That's right. the reason it got nationalized. Mm -hmm. So when people talk about the, the government, uh, that private industry but, does a better but, job at everything, well, they didn't the before 9-11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would leave that at where it is. Yeah, by the way, yeah. and there's a reason Amazon is eating everybody's lunch. You're right. Yeah, mean, Amazon they know what is, they're doing. Yeah, they do. And they know what everybody's doing. And <laughs> trust them. Arun, good to see you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind speaking to an Amazon Echo device the next time I go through airport security. I think that right. would be sort of like a step up in terms of the experience and the technology. Oh, so. okay. So actually, you've got confidence <laughs> and trust. Yeah. In Amazon. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be in the next product Not as much line, in Wow. They take care of the customers. Yeah. Yeah.